So that's two. Then you've had the two simple things: is yeah. dramatic action, yeah. then uh, uncovering human behavior. Through and status. I went to a blind man called Mr. Tap, if you can believe that, <laughs> Mr. Tap, the blind man, for uh, for some physiotherapy. And I hadn't met a blind person before. And I was a, and I, we'd taken a student who was injured there once, and he got her to the wrong person and tried to put him on the table. So I knew there were problems with being with a blind person. But I found I always made a slight sound, so he always knew where I was. Yeah. Automatic. I'm not doing it. it. My body's doing it. And then I went round the corner to a coffee bar, because I was early for class. And I sat there, and I could hear all these people making sounds which I never heard before. But I'd just been amazed that I made sounds automatically without knowing it. Then I arrived at the studio and watched them on the stage arriving for coffee, and they were making sounds. And then we started a scene, all the sounds disappeared. So in that one morning, I understood everything about that. Then it becomes a very interesting acting exercise. To they make can, emotional sounds. Yeah, they can do it in rehearsal and they'll find physicalizations because they immediately become more physical. And they can take it out if they want to. They don't have to do that. I had an actor in Denmark. He must be dead by now. <laughs> he was in a captain's chair like the ones you have in this apartment. But, and he was a fine actor in this. He should be a director had a great stage sense, but he'd always lived in a state of terror on the stage. And his body, because of the, he didn't look frightened, but his body kept straightening out. In and the chair? He, yeah, and he would slide off the chair. Then he would pull himself back into the chair again, and he'd start sliding out, because the tension of the long muscles of the body straightened him out. Wow. So I went to my Wojtzeck, who I taught at the Staten's Theatre School, and <laughs> said, he sat in a chair for a whole second act in the play I saw you direct. He said, oh, oh, yes, we, we tied him in the chair. And I said, what if there's a fire? He said, no problem, we picked the chair up and we carry him out in it. And then Wojciech looked at, into the distance, at the wall, actually, as he said, there must be something wrong with the Danish theatre <laughs> if we had to tie the actors in the chairs. So that they don't slide out? Yes, as yeah. if we hadn't thought of that before. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then I, he didn't speak English, he spoke German and, and, and uh, Danish. Because <laughs> he's an older man, he was about 60, playing the drum major. So I said, I, I got my voice sec, Martin. Martin? I don't know. I got my voice sec to explain the game to him. And could he make some emotional sounds? Because that would relax him. And he goes, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he understands everything. And he starts off, du bist ein guter Mann, voice sec. <laughs> Too much. Isolated from the text. Mm -hmm. Totally. And specializing in being a stupidly, oh God. So I talked to Wojtzeck again. I said, what the fuck is he doing? And he said, oh, we used to call that the grunting, snorting school of acting. <laughs> That's how the old actors used to act. Somebody had discovered this thing about adding sounds. And the actors had exploited it. Uh -huh. And they separated it from the text. And they were doing it to show they were doing it, of course, because they were actors. So I told you they had to make the sounds and hide them from the audience. Because you can't get true behavior unless they do that. Oh, one way we got before status, I got so fed up with them. We had so much stuff on the stage uh, and backstage. We built pyramids of <laughs> furniture and made the actors play their scenes climbing over that. What did that do? Ah, they would move, say their line, and move. Exactly the same isolation as 
saying their line, making a sound, the same thing. Still disconnected. Yeah. But when you made these, these were a lot of the Royal Shakespeare play. They were good. Some very, they were some good actors. They knew about acting. I didn't. But I was in a, on a quest for trying to get human behavior. When I got them to speak as they moved, they got really excited because they could feel it was different. It was integrated with the body. But, so I, but you can't just do all scenes on, you know, they say break a leg, don't they? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want in that. my class, you could easily break a leg. Mm -hmm. But that was before I solved it with the status. Mm -hmm.